Hi Pisces, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and this is going to be your August 2021 general tarot reading. We're looking at what's happening for you this month, what you can expect and what's the guidance for you, anything that spirit wants to come through. Okay, so I was meditating with your cards and shuffling them before the reading and uh, the message or the visual that I got was um, you sort of being hesitant to pursue something okay this could be a new adventure that's calling out to you there's possibly uh, something that you have had at the back of your mind that you wanted to pursue especially like a creative project or a passionate uh, beginning of some sorts but uh, something was holding you back okay and this could be fear this could be self-doubt whatever it may be um, I feel like that's the the key theme or the message for you for August to not hold yourself back uh, from pursuing something that you really want to okay um, let's start with your tarot reading I've already set the intentions and uh, let's see what comes through for you so from the bottom of the deck we have here the page of wands uh, interestingly the page of wands is very adventurous he is at the beginning of a new journey, of a new path, okay? And pages are often students or they're seen as apprentices also. They're very eager, they're very curious, they're very uh, interested in learning and pursuing new things. So this could be in the form of a new opportunity that you want to pursue or an important message or opportunity that comes your way and uh, which you then need to decide whether to take it up or not okay and beneath that we have another um, pursuant energy you could say with the knight of cups that's another offer specifically and emotionally led or driven offer so it could be a love offer coming your way as well all right so i'm just gonna give this a quick shuffle again and then you get into your reading all right so your first card out is the seven of pentacles okay followed by the knight of cups all right we then have death okay followed by strength major arcana ace of cups beautiful followed by the hangman which is your card pisces then we have the three of swords okay followed by the two of cups okay and now we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck so you could be dealing with an aries as well okay This feels uh, very much connected to um, either a relationship or something that you're very creatively drawn towards, you really want to pursue. But for most of you, this feels like a relationship, okay? Um, with the Three of Swords there, undoubtedly there is some healing, some recovering happening from a, a connection that may have not gone down too well and with death there this is pretty much you letting go of something that uh, was not actually working out for you and moving towards something new okay creating space for something new and it could definitely be in terms of relationships in terms of romance okay your love life especially interesting so let's start here we have the seven of pentacles clarified by the knight of cups the seven of pentacles is like an investment you uh, having invested or put a lot of effort work um, time energy patience into developing something okay something that you felt very uh, drawn towards um, something that you invested your emotions into as well the knight of cups wears his heart on the sleeve and he uh, pursues his dreams he's very passionate about his dreams as well so it's a very creative energy as well 
So you may have been pursuing something until now and investing a lot in a situation that uh, you felt emotionally drawn towards, you felt uh, an emotional connect with, okay? This could be in terms of uh, a business, a partnership, a love relationship, whatever it may be. But there is a change happening there or something needs to change there in that situation. Because then we have the death card uh, which is clarified by strength. And what I'm getting from this is that Pisces, it's taking you a lot of strength to actually um, bring about a change, to let go of something. The death card always comes up with, um, you know, having to purge, having to release, having to um, sort of part ways with what was or at least an aspect of it, okay? This could be you letting go of some habit, something that... Uh, was tying you down okay death is a purging which helps you then relieve yourself of something that was burdensome or something that had run its course okay and it is going to take strength it is going to take courage it is going to take a lot of patience as well but uh, i feel like this is you know a lot of inner work going on here with the strength card especially this is self-mastery you um facing your inner demons you could say your inner challenges that would keep you stuck in a place or that would keep you from evolving okay so with the death card there um that white horse is actually charging towards what is next uh, on the table which is the ace of cups okay so what you're leaving behind is probably being replaced by something that is more in tune with who you are something that is more um, more uh, I want to say like something that you want to feel more emotionally uh, connected to okay it fulfills you the ace of cups is healing it is recovery it's fresh new energy it is the start of something new it's an ace and with that page of wands being your overall energy this could very well be a creative pursuit or something that you feel very passionately drawn towards okay it could also be an offer coming your way which you then actually consider okay this is your card the hangman so the ace of cups is is clarified by the hangman this is like you actually uh, looking at a situation from a different perspective. You are also achieving this uh, stage of evolution, I would like to call it, because you have surrendered, okay? Part of the experience of the death card is to surrender, to let go, okay, of what was, what uh, you thought maybe it was a perception perhaps of how things should be in a connection or how uh, something should play out once we also release that once we sort of let go of the steering wheel we let the universe step in and do its job okay and align us with something that is actually better for us so this could be a new offer coming your way which actually feels like a good fit okay uh, the cup runneth over the ace of cups is healing it's recovering it's also like i said preparing space for a new opportunity a new love perhaps to come your way and then we have the three of swords and the two of cups so this definitely looks like a relationship okay a friendship or a partnership or a soul connection that uh, has been challenging okay it has taught you lessons um i'm getting that for some of you you might have known this person for three years okay it has taught you important lessons it has um led to your growth okay threes are about growth and expansion but that growth is coming at a cost uh, whereby it comes with its own challenges okay and lessons Oof. so let's get some clarifiers for you Pisces and I want to see what this three of swords is about what's this three of swords about for Pisces 
the page of cups so this could have been a love situation you being um, very curious about a partnership about a person and another page the page of swords for some of you it could also involve children okay pages can be children and if we have another page at the bottom of the deck so this could either it was someone who was being a bit immature or it was someone who it could even be a child okay for some of you and these two also fell out we have the seven of cups and the wheel of fortune so this involved perhaps some illusion okay a lot of daydreamy energy i'm getting with the princess of cups and the seven of cups and we have the devil at the bottom of the deck so this situation may have held you back in some way okay another message that i'm getting here for you pisces is that um now i see the seven of cups as a very piscean card because it's very daydreamy it is uh very neptunian to me and also the page of cups but um it's actually a scorpio card but anyway i feel like uh, there's another message here for you pisces that things are actually shifting they are changing okay there is perhaps a new opportunity coming your way with that ace of cups and the seven of cups can also present choices to you page of cups is also an offer but then what's happening is that you're holding yourself back in some way because of what has happened in the past okay the devil can be that self doubt fear it can be something that uh creates this um very ego based fear based reaction from us and that's almost like an automated response to something new you know we we get shaken and we're like no this is never going to work uh a good um, indicator of your ego actually making the choice or the decision for you to move forward would be that uh, the ego would actually be very fear based okay it would be um very negative in that sense like this has never worked out for me why would it work out now you know that sort of thing with the wheel of fortune there is a change happening here for sure and that goes well with the death card as well But let's get one card here for the Seven of Pentacles. What's okay? We have the Nine of Swords. All right. So this may have been a situation that was that was not actually working out the way you wanted it to, and that's why it's about time that it changes or you let go of that Pisces. Okay. The Death card. What's that about? Okay. Yeah. So the Death is clarified by the Ten of Wands. Tens are again about endings and new beginnings, and with every ending comes a new beginning. And speaking of new beginnings, we have the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Let me also clarify this Ace of Cups, and I'm just getting a bit nosy here now. What is this Ace of Cups for Pisces? We have Temperance. lovely so that is the divine bringing together a possibility for either reconciliation or bringing two people together it could also be that because i often see that as a divinely led connection but it's also an energy of healing so you are healing you're recovering post that death experience obviously uh you are going to take some time to pour back the love into yourself and feel refreshed feel recovered and then you can actually deal with uh this uh change and move into the new okay wow we have the star at the bottom of the deck so that again is healing it is fated okay that's what i'm feeling here this change is fated for you pisces that's what i feel So I had pulled out some oracle cards. Let's see what they are suggesting to us. I haven't looked at them. So we have higher power. 
nice this is surrendering okay knowing that you're not alone you're working in partnership with spirit letting the divine do its thing once you surrender once you let go of uh, something that has perhaps been causing you a lot of grief as well or a lot of anxiety okay take time to breathe out okay which is disseminating me yeah healing recovering taking time out for yourself pouring that energy that focus that love back into yourself okay then we have action which reminds me of the chariot card we have financial constraints okay and lastly we have nurturing gaia that is you actually taking time to nurture yourself to look after yourself pisces i want to get one card for this action what's that about okay wow we have the ace of cups again pisces so the action here might also involve a choice a decision and as i was saying that we have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck which is about choices and moving forward in one direction it feels to me like this ace of cups that you got initially is presenting a choice to you with the black and white horses there in the action card it often reminds me of chariot and the chariot card shows uh, the charioteer uh staring two sphinxes who are of opposing forces you could say black and white and you're meant to actually harness both of them together or uh sort of focus on one path and charge forward in that direction okay and then we have financial constraints this could literally mean that you are required or you're being advised here to take it easy on your expenses this month to not go overboard okay we have the page of wands again because you might be just starting out on something okay uh whether it's a new business venture a new creative project or you may want to travel or you may want to study something whatever it is uh just keep your expenses budgeted okay that's what i'm getting from that card but yes this is a uh, divinely guided and protected change that is happening for you pisces okay and it is setting you off on a new path okay so have faith have trust um I'll, i'll just wrap this up with one card from the whispers of oracle deck because i feel like there's a lot of this love energy here relationships energy so what does pisces need to know for august <laughs> we've got love makes a difference love helps heal past hurts which is the three of swords and provides a sense of security and self worth we have honesty is essential and lastly we have spend quality time together all right this three of swords is not a major concern it's just that it could be a bit of a hiccup you know maybe uh your relationship is going through a few ups and downs and that's okay it could also have to do with uh financial constraints for that matter and those may be affecting your relationship so take time to breathe out and uh whenever you feel refreshed you feel recovered go on this new adventure that is calling out to you pisces you have three pages in your reading so it's time for new beginnings all right i'm sending you much love if you enjoy the reading do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't thanks for watching again i hope you have a wonderful month ahead take care and god bless bye bye